Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Zero Grid Passport wallet that I've been testing over the course of the last month. If you like this video, make sure to let us know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. All right, so it's fairly simple taking a look at the outside. We have a ripstop nylon here and a YKK zipper going up and down. I jammed my Mac size iPhone in here. It doesn't really work great. The, the buttons press themselves, the screen touches itself, but it does fit in here. Maybe a smaller phone would be better. However, I've just been using this for like boarding passes and things of that nature. Um, really not using it a lot either. You can see that there's not much elasticity to it and it's a bit stiff. Opening it up, it opens up clamshell or butterfly style rather. I've got my passport on this side tucked into the back here. I really, really like this layout. Um, passport tucked in, you can open it up, show the customs agent or officer your documents. Sometimes I'll have you pull it out anyways. There's a little space in the middle here for a pen, so no more looking around for one or waiting for one, filling out those pesky customs forms. And then we have two card slots here. I've got two on, three cards on this side, two on that side. And in the back, I've got some like immunization forms and then also an air tag stuffed at the bottom. So I think this is like the perfect size and the perfect layout for a passport wallet. The only thing that I'm having a bit of trouble with is the feel of it. So even though this is a YKK zipper, it feels a little bit cheap. I think these logos on the front cheapen the look as well, although it is RFID protect, protected, uh, has like some protection in here from RFID scanning. So if you like that, that's important to you. It's got that. Um, but just the feel of it just feels a little on the cheap side. But other than that, I think this is like the perfect size and the perfect layout for a passport wallet. And I've been really, really happy testing it over the course of the last month. And although this wallet is very full featured, it's still very packable. So if I just take this passport out so we can see the size of it, you know, let's say you were just packing your passport as it is. I think a case is very helpful. One time I got some water on my passport and the customs agent every time I came back to the US was like, why is this wet? Why did this get wet? Like every single time. So I always use a case now, um, but the size of it is really, really great too. So it doesn't take up that much more space than your passport if you're just carrying that alone. You can see the dimensions are pretty similar. I mean, it's definitely thicker, but not by much. I think that's one thing that I see in other passport wallets is they can get too bulky and become a little bit too hard to pack. That's not the case here with the zero grid. And I wanted to compare it to a couple of other passport wallets here. So this is a larger passport wallet from zero grid. So make sure you're picking the right size based on what you want. This is great if you're traveling with like a couple of people or your family, you can hold a lot more things inside of here. You can see that the layout is definitely quite a bit bigger. Uh, and then this is my other personal favorite, the Bellroy travel wallet. It is more expensive, but I just think it looks so much better. Um, the layout is similar and I like the size of it too. It's a similar size as the zero grid, but there's no zipper. So the zero grid I think has that up on the Bellroy that it zips closed, but I just love the way the Bellroy travel wallet looks. And then just a couple of other popular ones. This one's from Alpaca. This one is from Fjall Raven and this one's from Fjall Raven too. So these two passport wallets tend to be pretty popular on our site. This one is very similar, but you can see that it's just a little bit bigger. So I like the size of the zero grid better. That being said, there's a lot more room in here for organization. And let's check out the even larger Fjall Raven on the inside. I mean, I'll just show you them all on the inside. I got a little bit of time. This opens up like a little tiny pouch. And then the alpaca, you open that up and you have some slots for cards here with that X-Pack material. So that's kind of the lay of the land of a couple of other passport wallets. The zero grid is definitely up there for me as well as the Bellroy travel wallet. So there you have it, the Zero Grid Passport Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.